guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing if you're new hey do not forget to smash that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber mm, thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate it yeah. so in today's video i'm going to be talking about the books i read in november Ooh, yes i had a very very good reading month you guys i i read almost 16 books i read eight physical books and then eight books 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 really <laughs> eight physical books and i read eight books on my kindle i'm going to be talking about the books i physically read first then i'll be talking about the books i read on my kindle so we have like two segments yeah yeah these are all the books i read this is psychology of money this is the non-fiction book i picked for november and i'm actually almost done with it that's because i got sucked in you know i don't know why it's so difficult to read non-fiction like we can read eight or ten or one million fictions but when it comes to non-fiction you'd be slow like a rat anyway no a rat is not even slow okay so let's talk about how money is there are so many parts i actually loved about this book like like this part that wealth is not what you see that means is what you don't see there's a difference between wealth and being rich and i'm like hmm most of the people we actually see, we think they are rich, but they are not wealthy. And, you know, the goal should be to well, mm, should be to be wealthy. <laughs> it's enlightening. Yes, I'm actually enjoying the book. The book is actually very easy to get to. But the, the reasonable and rational, that's the part I am kind of a little bit confused. But I'll, I'll get the angle of it soon. Another book I read is The Queen of Nothing. This is in the Folk of Air series. This wraps up the whole series very, very, very well. I don't want to talk and spoil it, but yeah, some things happened here that I really, really enjoyed. And also, I liked the hand. I like the way everything just rounded up. Honestly, Jude is a lady that we should not fuck with. Like, that girl, when I started reading that series, I was like, what, what is wrong with this girl? Who, what, what is wrong with her? She know they take no for an answer. The girl is so strong-willed. I gave this one a five star. Then I went ahead to read How the King of Elfame learned to eat stories this one talks about cardon basically his life in the palace and how he grew up because if you read the book one that's a crow prince you notice that cardon is not the favorite prince okay the king actually more like abandoned him but not totally and there was also a prophecy on his head that was really, really scary so i gave this one a four star i really enjoyed it i also like the fact that the book actually came illustrated like there are so many pictures inside and it was easy to fly through honestly and if you don't know this is this is cardon and this is jude can you see how cute they look oh my god guys do you see this i really really like this book this is one of the books i can never let go of i'll even call it a like a novella because it's not that deep or crazy but the stories here are actually nice the particular woman he met was actually nice yeah so i enjoyed this so another book i read is this one you guys it ends with us by calling Uva. this book is very very controversial will i say because a lot of people say this book is not good but guys this is a five star read for me it talks about lily ryle and also atlas it takes you through the past you are reading a diary to see what happened in the past and then at present atlas is from our past ryle is in our present the way Colinova put it is you are in a relationship and you feel like you can't get out. Honestly, it just portrays it in a way. Honestly, the part that she said, guys, there are so many parts. There are so many parts I actually resonated with. Oh, oh my God. Okay, so it stops here with me and you. It ends with us. Basically, because she wants to actually stop the cycle of this. I don't want to spoil it, but you guys, I honestly want you to read this book okay go into it blind i didn't even read the synopsis or the blob or anything i just went into it blind with an open mind and i really really am glad i did and honestly i really really liked ryle because it was a nice guy it's just that the particular thing he did that doesn't make me like him anymore and it's not like i hate him you know when you hate someone but i just felt so sorry for him because it's quite difficult for you to love someone and at the same time try to put up with that shit and at the same time believe that it's not gonna happen again but it will still keep happening the best thing for you to do is to end it yeah so that's what this book is then i went straight into it starts with us because it's the continuation is like the book too and honestly i am glad i read this this one was a i think a 4.5 yeah i feel like if you don't really like this one you'll not like this one because 
is the continuation and this one sheds more light on how when you have left an abusive relationship how hard it is for you to even still find that freedom and then you know still choose what is best for you regardless like you you hope that you know most especially when you now have a child that is actually really 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 painful there's another thing i learned from colin Uva's books these two books one thing i learned is it's easier for you to judge from outside like it's very very easy for you to say oh you could have just left and blah 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 but when you are in it you realize that it is much more other than you think and she really portrayed it well i felt so sad but i really liked it it was nice yeah these are one of my favorite books i really really love them with all my heart ah <laughs> no, I see this guy this book <laughs> a little life by anya yanahihera Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. You know, when I did my November TBR this year, I told you guys this is the only book I'm going to probably read. Guys, this book is chunky. Okay, so it talks about I think four or five friends Jude, Malcolm, JB, Willem, and all these people. Like, this book is crazy. So let me not lie, when I started the book, I was very bored. I was bored to the core. I was I felt like, what am I reading? There was so much information, like <sighs> So, a friend of mine suggested I read with the audio book. And this is my first time listening to audio book and reading at the same time. And I'm really, really glad I made that choice. So, I read alongside with the audio book and then I now enjoyed the story. Although, it took a while to finish it. But, guys, when you think that everything is going to be better, trust me, in this book, no. It becomes worse and worse and worse and worse. And then you are like, ah, 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 ah. <sighs> Ooh. Sorry, I just got emotional. So basically, it talks about mainly, mainly Jude, then Willem, then other people, his life, what happened to him, and how he's navigating it now. It's so, like, guys, it's so far. It's so far. Honestly, I'll just tell you to oh, read this book, even though it might be boring in the beginning, but try to just read it, you know? Don't give up. Read it. So it was a 4.5 star for me. I also learned a lot in architecture law politics mathematics i learned a lot that even in painting drawings i, I never even knew that <laughs> yeah and the way the lady writes oh my god she writes in a way that you are everything just rhymes and when i was writing my review for this i, I felt like i was writing like her because i was like damn i, I think i've i've captured it. but also, the audiobook I used to listen, the guy's voice was very, very nice. Also, so I was, I, although I, I listened in 1.5 speed, but it was very, very nice and I enjoyed it. I did not cry. Oh, a lot of people say you will cry. You will. One lady that pissed me off, she said, I've not read up to 100 pages. And I'm already crying. <laughs> she was, she had smut all over her face. But guys, I did not cry. I didn't. I didn't. I only cried like at page 600 and something. And that was because I felt like everything was already getting better. And then I just got slapped in the face with that horrible incident. <sighs> I even wrote it there. I was like, damn, I thought everything was getting better. And then, no, it was not getting better. It was horrible. Then the next physical book I read is Pearl by Munachi Mbono. I feel like this book was made for like a five-year-old or like a maybe six-year-old child or maybe even ten years old. Who knows? Because... It felt like something that I would use to just teach my child a lesson or, you know, tell her that, okay, there are some things that can happen in the world. So it talks about a girl named Delena. Delena grew up in a poor family after her dad, after her, dad, after her father died. And then it talks about her life, a mistake she made, and then the bad choices, the good choices she made. And at the end, what happened to her? So I gave it a two stars because I just felt like yeah the story even the the lesson of the story itself was kind of not even in line with the story i'm like okay i read my sister the serial killer by oyinka braith white i read it in a day it was very very fast it talks about a girl and her sister korede and her sister ayola ayola keeps on killing her boyfriends <laughs> I don't even understand it. And Corrida is always helping her clean up the mess, which is actually crazy. And then it turns out that she has to later make a choice because she fell in love with somebody that Ayola now wants to actually, you know, 
People say it's supposed to be a thriller, but I felt like it was just a normal book. Yes, yes, I wanted to know what happened. I wanted to know what Trisha she made. Oh, oh my God, this book pissed me off. It pissed me off because the guy gone said, what was his name? Tade. I was. I kept on writing. He's an idiot. He, this guy is a stupid idiot. <laughs> Guys, I was so angry. He just pissed me off. He said, Doctor works where um Corrida is. And Corrida is in love with him, but he doesn't even see Corrida at all. A lot of people say it could have been better. Yes, it could have been better, but it served its purpose. I enjoyed reading it. It actually riled me up. Get made me scream, made me shout, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That kind of vibe. So yeah. So the first stuff for me. <sighs> Guys, so now let's go into the books I read on my Kindle. Mm-hmm. So I read the remaining two books in the Mindfuck series, the remaining two books, and I gave them five stars because why not? Those books are crazy. It was intense in book four. It was very, very intense. Oh my God. I kept on like, what's going to happen? Is she going to die? Are they going to catch her and stuff? And it was nice seeing how the detective would actually, you know, realize who she is or know that she's the one doing all those things you know then the next book i read is the housemaid secret by frida if you've read the housemaid the housemaid secret just continues with um i forgot her name but she m moves to work in another house and then so many things happen also like the same storyline but this one had a little bit more to it because then you you later realize that not what you see it, everything is not the way you see. not baby how do they say that saying Oh, not all that glitters is gold. Yes, but not all things seem as they are. Yeah. All that glitters is not gold. I know all that glitters is not gold, but not all, not what you see is as they are. Something like that. So that's how I saw that book as, and it was a very very nice read. I really enjoyed it. It was a five star read for me. The next book I read is Butcher and Black Bread. Oh my! Uh, I said Black Bread. <laughs> Butcher and Blackbird. I body read this with promise. It was actually very, 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 very interesting. It talked about two serial killers that kill other serial killers. So it was crazy. There was a lot of gore and everything. But maybe because I read the Mindfuck series first, I already saw, you know, the amount of preparation Lana put into killing, you know, before she just got. But in Butcher and Blackbird, they just wake up. I'm going to kill. No preparation, no proper planning, no nothing. So I was like, ah, what's happening? They were not acting like professional, you know, serial killers. Yeah, but I really, really liked the guy's character because he legit, because he liked her, he legit would not have a small child to go and deliver groceries to her and then he would not be on the call with her because he's a chef and he would not teach her how to cook the dishes. Like, are you seeing where this is going? I really, really liked it. I liked it, but just didn't like the fact that it was... You know, not really, really professionally done. And there was a <laughs> there were so many funny parts there that made me laugh. I gave it a 3.5 stars. The next book I read is Never Lie by Frida. Oh my God, this Never Lie by Frida. I don't even know how to explain that. I don't know how to explain anything because the book from the beginning was just misleading. You will not see it coming. You will not see this plot twist coming. You will not see it coming. You don't know that this is what's going to happen. But it talks about this couple. They want to buy a house. So... They go to the house in a snowstorm and then the owner of the house has been missing for like three years and you start to see why because one of them was going through our personal stuffs and yeah it involves people dying oh guys i didn't see it coming i was misled from the beginning but it was a very very good read and some things didn't really sit right with me like the fact that it was working but there was no connection and they were both both of that oh god guys just read it read it it was nice then i read the sweetest oblivion in the maid series oh my god the sweetest oblivion <laughs> it's about nico oh my god we love me nico it's a dark romance mafia romance oh my god nico was supposed to marry adriana but Mm -mm -mm. his eyes was on elena because elena is this and everybody thinks that she's a whore and she sleeps around but it's not the case so how will nico get elena even though he's you know meant to marry adriana that is how the book goes but i like the guy there was something that happened that i love at that feeling station the petrol station ah oh, nigga just because somebody he blew 
my camera is dying. I'll come back and tell you the next book I read. I gave the sweetest oblivion five stars because I really enjoyed it so much. See, there were a lot of red flags. See, if you want to read these, the maid series, just make sure you throw away your femi femininism, the way Larry says it. Throw away your sense. Don't even think. Don't let anything be like, oh, he's treating the girl like, mm, forget it. Just enjoy your book. Yeah. Then I went directly, like, I wanted to know what would happen next. I went into the maddest oblivion. No, The Maddest Obsession. I really, really wanted to like that book. I really wanted to, but I just did not. This one talks about Christopher and I forgot the girl's name. But basically, she was married to Nico's dad and she's young and some things happen. But the fact that Chris was, it was just rude. I know mafia, they are supposed to be rude, but his own was just extra rude. And the lady herself, she was just all like acting like a child. Like someone that doesn't know what to do. She doesn't go to... She doesn't have anything w w going on in her life. Like, yes, she had some traumatic past. But at the same time, she... She was just jobless, childish to me, though, to me. But I want to... I'm, I'm going to be reading the third book this month. So, yeah. I, I know. I'm just... Yeah. Then the last book I read is Enemies to Love by Portia McIntosh. I think that's her name. This was a ARC from Netgalley. And I really, really liked it. It's... A book about two rivals they are both journalists and they are sister companies or brother companies and you know so they are working against each other not working against each other but they try to get the story before the other person does so lara and sonny lara does not like sonny because of some things that sonny did to her and sonny's personality is very very different sonny is a very very carefree guy he likes joking he's cheerful and they are always having comebacks at each other one of the fights they had had sonny getting slapped so he got slapped and they had to like rectify by getting a story which involves them going to a secret therapy place for couples so they had to act like couples and you know what happens from there so basically the book is actually very very predictable but i really liked all the characters there was no particular character that i hated and i was actually sick while reading it so it gave me this happy vibes all through so it was very enjoyable it's gonna be published in january so yeah <sighs> you guys i'm sorry my energy just went like this in this video my camera is frustrating me i'm having headache and i don't know why but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please tell me which of these ones you read in November. I'd like to know. I really, really like to know. And what your ratings are. What you think I should read next. And tell me about the Maid series. I want to know if you... Because most people like Christopher's story. And I don't. So I want to know. The third book, Darkest Temptation. I'll be tem tempted. Yeah? The Darkest Temptation is what I want to read next. And I'm so, 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 so scared. I'm worried because a lot of people say book two was their favorite but i didn't like book two so let's see you know i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching have a nice reading month deuces the camera is already hot again oh thank god i'm done then i went her head i'm reading oh no what's wrong with me i'm sweating i'm not organized <sighs> let me pause i'm tired then she brought in trauma oh <sighs> the camera is dead